Functions and Graphs Introduction Here's a picture, or a graph, of a function. The function is y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. There are quite a lot of functions like this on your course. This is a quadratic function because it turns only once. It starts at the top here, comes down to a low point and moves forward. If you were to imagine a marble and this the inside of a vase, the marble would roll all the way to the bottom, up a bit, back down, up and settle at the bottom. But there are quite a lot of interesting points about functions and graphs and they serve to tie a lot of the course together. So let's look at what those points are. Well, first off, this graph crosses the x-axis at two points. It intersects with the x-axis. At this point, minus 2, 0, and at the point, 4, 0. These are called roots of the function. So, 4, x equals 4, is a root, and x equals minus 2 is a root. So, if we put these values in here, for example, x equals 4, we'd get 4 squared would be 16, minus 2 times 4 would be 8, minus 8. 16 minus 8 minus 8 would be 0. We see that the actual value there, the y value, would be 0. So it actually crosses the x-axis there. If x equals 4 is a root, x minus 4 is a factor. So what's happening really with functions and graphs is that these two points where they intersect the x-axis here and here are giving us roots and also linking us to another part of the course where we talked about factors. Another interesting point on this function is this point here, naught minus 8. This is where the graph intersects with the y-axis, where it hasn't moved at all to the right or to the left. It hasn't moved positive east or west, but stayed directly on this y-axis. So its x value is 0. So here we just put in a value of x of 0 y is 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 8, or the point naught minus 8. And a very interesting point on this graph is this point here. This is the minimum point. This is the only point where the slope of this graph is horizontal. So, for example, with a marble rolling down the inside of a vase, it would roll and settle until it came to this point here this being the only possible point where the slope is zero. And that brings us into calculus and dy dx and slopes of lines like m equals zero and all of that. So there's quite a lot happening in functions and graphs to tie the much of the maths program together. So there we see the function with all the points, the two intersecting points, the intersection with the y-axis, these two were intersecting with the x-axis, and the minimum point. And here we've got the section of the graph above the x-axis, the section below, the section with negative values, the section to the right of those x-values, etc. So quite a lot going on in functions and graphs, bringing the program together.